My name is Teresa Lockwood. I reside in Violin, New Jersey. I'm recording Frank Apolito. Um, I'm going to make uh, several recordings. I still I haven't gotten to um, uh, his son, uh, unfortunately, who is um, a cult victim of Frank Apolito. There has been a lot of indicators um, and evidence that he actually even lies and misleads his own son deliberately and knowingly. It's really, really sad. Um, so, you know, he gets him to speak against, like, um, other culture, whatever, to mislead him that he is in a cult. And he speaks abuse of false doctrines. Also, um, a little bit different. Uh, so, I, I'm just going to go on. So, Frank Apolito is trying to cover up um, him condemning my religion. And he's trying to... Well, this is actually more condemnation of, re of the Christian religion. Okay, and persecution. He persecuted me for my religion. Christian religion, by the way. So, I don't know if I want to get to it. The thing is, it's like, I, I haven't even finished watching it. I'm kind of like, right here. All right, I'm going back and forth. I'm about to, re I'm about to record uh, that. The thing is, is that um, I exposed him as being pagan. Instead of him basically seeking God and repenting, he comes back continuously with all these abusive attacks. Now, the thing is, he used to condemn the laws of God and actually said the laws of God had been abolished, colluding with the fraudulent Pentecostals in the violent police department who are also persecuting me, condemning my religion of Christ. I think this is a thing. Religion can only be that of what is of the laws of God. That is for the people. Okay? So is any true knowledge that is against wrong error, um, falsehood, you know, um, sin, crime, whatever. Okay? So, religion is the laws of God. So, he's, he's playing these little games. He's deliberately and knowingly being abusive and deceptive like this. He's very, very manipulative. That's all he does is lie. And the thing is, not too long ago, he sits there and uses a verse that I've selected <clears throat> um, in discussions with teaching other people um, about Christianity, that uh, the passage from <clears throat> sanctify them by your truth, your word is truth. I've shared it on my page uh, throughout the years. I, I basically reshared them recently, a number of them. So the thing is, as memories are coming up on my Facebook, I mean, it's just there. I wrote it so many times. So I'm um, just teaching people to focus and to seek truth, okay? So um, the thing is, is he's a pathological habitual liar, okay? Liars go to hell. It also exposes you as not being Christian, he tries to lie and make up his own rules and falsely call me a liar or claim I'm lying by making up a lie. That has nothing to do with me. This is what he does. Even going so far as me because I just ch had to change my mind about something. An appointment or whatever the case may be or whatever. And calling that a lie because he can't find any lies or deception in me. This is what he does. So, the thing is, off and on, there's videos you can see back and forth where he's teaching law and then, like, eliminating it, sometimes in the same sermon, sometimes back and forth from each other, okay? So, he'll be teaching law, then he'll be condemning law, condemning me, making passive-aggressive, um, slanderous, abominable, committing sins against me, crimes, okay, of slander, harassment. Um, and persecuting my religion. He thinks, oh, because my name isn't mentioned, or um, he hides behind his pulpit, and he's just teaching. His excuses are, oh, all I do is teach Jesus. Oh, all I do is teach Scripture. That is a lie. Now, the thing is, he has altered it lately, in the last few years, where he's reading Scripture. Before, when he was attacking me, he was reading Scripture, and randomly... He talks a bit and randomly to the side, just randomly puts in there that is not lined up with anything. And then kicks out, put, puts a few words in, in connection to me. And then um, makes his little slanderous remarks, okay? Um, so, for example, in here, well, he basically goes in and ties it to Scripture. Before, he was not tying it to Scripture. He made it a point that it was known and randomly kicked it in there to make a cheap shot at me. Okay, 
So, the thing is, is that um, he says he's biblical. He is not. Um, I keep teach, uh, I'm sorry, yeah, teaching, correcting his false, unbiblical, false doctrines. False, unbiblical, false doctrines. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. With biblical teachings, and then he takes them. Then he slanders me in his sermon. He has deliberately and knowingly persecuted me for being of true, of... Now, this is the thing. There's only one religion. And that is anything that is true. Okay? I basically teach people... I teach atheists. Okay? About religion. He is actually taking an atheist... Um perspective of the slander and deceit that atheists falsely claim of what religion is to make an excuse to attack uh, religion because they are against what is right. Not because they're confused of what religion is. Okay? Now there are a lot of people who are confused. Okay? And it is the fault of of these false ministers like Frank Apolito. There are false ministers are trying to appeal to atheists to deceive them or to get try to get followers and f so they sit there and claim they're not religious, that they're against religion. So they collude with the deception of the athe acclaimed atheists and basically try to claim and justify the, the false blasphemous lies. Now, it's not a blasphemy against the Holy Spirit. They don't understand the Holy Spirit. <coughs> Even though he has said slanders blasphemous things against the Holy Spirit, he has not directly sinned against the Holy Spirit. Because he does, he is not of the Holy Spirit. He's a false teacher, false minister. Um, if he was a... <coughs> Minister of the Holy Spirit and blaspheming the Holy Spirit, he would be dead. And God would strike him down, okay? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so, um, the thing is, is that he is continuously resistant against God. And when I spoke that to him before in the past, he basically acts like he's teaching, basically makes a few words or whatever and condemns me for the law, saying I'm living under the shadow of law, taking scripture out of context. Even not too long ago, made a comment and falsely claimed that, um, that the tree of knowledge is a forbidden fruit. This is actually not true. Um, sit there and trying to attack my knowledge. Now, he's been attacking the knowledge of God, of the laws of God that I've been teaching that have been factual, holy truth, and knowingly attacked the knowledge of God that came from me, and then lied and slandered willingly and knowingly, and then claimed Jesus, and claimed he's a believer in Jesus. This is what he does. He scams people. So, the thing is, he has been willingly and knowingly attacking me and slandering me because I am a religious Christian of faith with the insight and anointing of God. Same as the violent New Jersey police Pentecostals. Now, I'm talking about the chaplains. I'm talking about the violent police Pentecostals. They're not in no relation to what is in our Bible. They have been persecuting me for uh, many years, committing hate crimes against me because I am a religious Christian, meaning of the laws of God. So back and forth, he's been pretending to cover it up. He's teaching about the laws of God. Of course, he's got to read through the scripture. But then he'll condemn it. He'll t turn around and condemn it again. Religion is the, um, the laws of God. Now, he goes rants off and sits there and like, oh, your own religion, creating your own religion. First of all, um, that was a manipulative tactic by the Vina police also. Um, who are false Christians and the atheists, who basically said, oh, you're not entitled to your own facts. Now, there is, I did look up, this was actually when I viewed this last night. Oh, I don't think I have it open still. No, I don't. Hold on. I have to look it up again. Um, I thought I had it open. I might have just looked something up in the same um, tab and, and a new uh, information for something else. Um... Okay. Now. Okay, so they're basically playing this game and claiming that I don't have a relationship with God 
or Christ because uh, they deem me as religious. That would be of the laws of God, by the way. Then they make up a lie to cover that up, what the laws of God are, uh, which is nothing true of what they said is the laws of God. Then they make up all these lies that they persecuted Jesus um, in the name of religion and um, because of their religion or whatever, yada, yada, yada. So when he said his own religion, now the thing is, I've heard people say, oh, your own religion. You know, when you correct them with the true knowledge of God against your false non-religious sin. Um, so, <clears throat> all right, let me just go on. I had to open up the whole full thing. Um, okay. All right, this is interesting. Um, so, uh, Paul has his trial, right? And, um, this is the thing. This is actually where Christianity is called a religion. Now, somebody can sit there and say, well, it's from another perspective you did not understand. This is true. Okay, but it is known what religion is. I mean, it's common sense that religion is against what is wrong. Religion is against sin. Christianity can only be that of truth. Christianity has nothing to do with these church cult societies, their cliques. Okay? Whatever's contained in their building or their group or whatever. Um, they, uh, Frank Apolito is also speaking against himself. Claiming that you're not Christian if you don't go to church until the whole COVID-19. Then he had to alter it and change it. Right? Um, they basically bullied me out of this church cult. By the way, he slandered me. Attacked even my tra traumatic um, abuse. Um, um, tra I don't know how to say that. Traumatic. I'm trying to say two things at once. <laughs> the traumatic um, trauma abuse that I endured. I was going to say PTSD, so I'm, I, okay, forget about that. I want to do a video about PTSD, so, um, because, actually it's something related else that actually is related to something you said actually in here. Um, okay, I gotta go on, I gotta go on. Alright, so, um, uh, hold on a second. I, I have to just, like, Focus because I'm trying to sit there. Okay, I have three things because I have this in front of me and I have his sermon or whatever. And my thoughts. So I'm just, okay, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to, I'm going to read this, all right? So, um, I, I don't, I want to read this whole thing because I find it actually quite interesting. Um, I mean, I was slightly, from, I read it, but I was, I wasn't like, I didn't have, like, you know, I couldn't, I wouldn't be able to recall it if somebody, like, mentioned it to me or whatever. I, yeah, I read, like, I read, like, the Bible, like, so many times. But the thing is, it's really strange. I explained to somebody years ago. I could tell you so much about the book of Job, which is such, it is a, is a, is a larger, uh, lengthier, um, book. But it's, like, the smallest, like, books, like, well, Jonah, I can't. I love the book of Jonah. But, um... Um, like, uh, Ma Malachi, I mean, I've used, like, certain things or whatever, it's just like, I had to read that thing, like, so many times, because it was just like, I couldn't really remember, like, uh, many things that are in it, like, I have, like, little information, I couldn't recall on it if you asked me about it, <laughs> like, it's really strange, you sit there and ask me about the book of Job, I can, I can tell you a lot of things, um, so I guess it's basically my attraction to how things, you know, are written, what is going on, or what have you. Um, the arguments in the book of Job, uh, and the points that are made, and then the expression of the things of God is very beautiful in his suffering. It's just like, it, it's just, it's powerful and amazing. I've had heard other people, okay, I can't do this now. All right, I have to go. Okay, 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 I see. Ah, uh, okay, I got it, okay. Um... Where do I start with this? Um, okay. So I'm going to start with 16. And this is, this is, okay, this is Paul. Hold on. It says, to them I answered. It is not, I'm sorry. It is not the custom of the Romans to deliver any man to destruction before the accused meets the accuser face to face. Okay. Okay. Um, I actually had the Pentecostals who basically had a false trial set up this thing or whatever and refused me to defend myself. 
um, and had me jailed for crimes they were committing against me, committed perjury against me. That was also Jason Scalzi. Yes, perjury, and basically it comes into abusing power to have me kidnapped. So, um, they were persecuting me for me, then reporting their cult abuse, which just added more onto it. So, they have been persecuting me with hate crimes, the violent police Pentecostals. Not talking about the chaplains, he was made a chaplain, but besides that, he was a police officer. Pentecostal was committing hate crimes against me, actually condemning me as religious. Um, the only thing I taught them is basically a truth um, of laws of justice and biblical true knowledge that was against their false teachings. So, which they wound up stealing a lot from me also. They're still doing that, okay? So, I'm going to go on. To them I answered, uh, it is not the custom of the Romans to deliver any man to destruction before the accused meets the accuser face to face and has opportunity to answer for himself concerning the charge against him. Therefore, when they had come together without any delay, the next day I sat on the judgment seat and commanded the man to be brought in. Okay, so this is, this is, um, uh, is that Festus? Hold on. Let me read above that. And after some days, King um, Agrippa and Bernice um, came to Caesarea to a Greek feed. It's really strange because she actually um, um, mentions um, Caesarea Philippi, so um, where Jesus made things, which I'm about to record. It was coincidence. Um, I'm actually using this to uh, address religion. <laughs> so, um, it's, it's interesting. Um, and how a religion is addressed. So, I'm going to go on. Um, there is a certain man left a prisoner by Felix, about whom the chief priests and the elders of the Jews informed me when I was in Jerusalem asking for a judgment against him. To them, I answered. Okay, so this is... Um, Okay, did I read over that? When they had been there many days, Festus laid Paul's case before the king, saying, okay? So, um, I'm going to skip down. You can read this. This is from, um, Acts 25. So, uh, if you're, if you're into, like, law cases and courts and things like that, Acts is, like, um... Very, very interesting um, in regards to passing, like, letters to governments and dealing with the courts and trials and things like that. Okay, I can't get into that. I'm going to go on. Uh -huh. I'm going to try not to <laughs> teach a whole bunch of things. All right. So, okay. Mm, 16. All right. To them, I answered. Uh, okay, this is. I'm sorry. This is uh, Festus. I basically jumped to Paul. Like I know that because. I, okay, there's. Okay, let me just read it. All right. So to them, I answered. It is not the custom of the Romans to deliver any man to destruction before the accused meets the accusers face to face and has opportunity to answer for himself concerning the charges against him. Unless you're in violent New Jersey, they will sit there and make sure that the witnesses or victims, um, or even the criminal, um, do not say anything, um, or make a defense for anything and they control cases. So, it's really terrible that the, the, the courts who basically, uh, are the, Ro uh, the, the Romans who basically even persecuted Jesus, the courts in violent are actually worse. <laughs> okay, um... So I'm gonna go on. Uh, yeah, it's 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 a scary phenomenon that I actually called them though, uh, the Romans. But the interesting oh, I want to talk about so many things. The, look, the interesting thing is the mind of the Romans. Okay, now he tries to sit there, and people try to use like Nero and things like that. And yeah, Nero like had all these Christians slaughtered. You know, um, you know, set this fire. Or whatever. Uh, well, I guess it wasn't proven or what have you and all these things or whatever. But they did <coughs> cast Nero out. Okay? Because of his terrorism. Okay? So, um... And... But the mind of the Romans, right? Um... I mean, if you look up uh, uh, Pontius Pilate, 
He was actually the one that basically I said, I, I find no fault in this man, Jesus. Okay, but apparently they had this custom that was imbalanced, right? And it basically it was that of, you know, it, not based on, you know, his rights or what is true or the facts or evidence, but the say of whatever the people and the popular vote wanted, okay? So, in America, we have a, well, they're supposed to be. They don't practice it. They're trying to oppose, impose, like, democracy, which is basically almost the same thing where it's just, like, it's not based on rights or whatever. It's supposed based on popular vote, not facts or evidence, okay? But it would be that of the government um, and the government not held accountable. Um, so there's it's a little off, all right? And then there is, like, um, that of, okay, I gotta go on. I, gotta, I, can't, I can't do this. I'm not going to be able to get through this. Um, okay. <laughs> uh, opportunity to answer for himself concerning charges against him. Therefore, when they had come together without any delay, the next day I sat on the judgment seat and commanded the men to be brought in. When the accuser stood up, uh, they brought no accusation against him of such things as I supposed. Um, so there's a translation of another word used, and, and I think it says suspected or something. I'm not going to scroll down. I just almost lost my place. But, um, <coughs> suppose, suspected, okay. So, um, but had some questions against him about their own religion and about this Acer in Jesus, so there's a curiosity here, and they're questioning their curiosity to the Christian religion. It is not saying their own religion, as in Frank Apollo is saying your own religion. Okay? Religion is religion. But it's basically people not of the Christian religion. So I'm going to read that again. Um, when the accuser stood up, they brought no accusation against him of, a, of the things as I suppose, but had some questions against him about their, I mean, yeah, against him about their own religion and about a certain Jesus. Okay. So who had died from whom Paul affirmed to be alive. So they're very like, you know, anxious about, you know, like about what do you know about the Christian religion and, you know, Jesus, um, who had died and risen or what have you and all these things. So, um, I, I'm taking up so much time. I'm not going to be able to record this. Oh my gosh. I, <laughs> this is like, um, I have goosebumps. <laughs> But, um, so when he's expressing your own religion, and it's actually different, but the thing is, it's like, when how he is expressing it, it's like, it's ridiculous. He's trying to compare it to pagan idols, right? He's trying to claim that religion, because I claim to be religious, and, and, and rightly accuse them of persecuting my Christian religion. So he is still persecuting me, using his anti-theist atheism, and trying, as he's pretending to be Christian, okay, as he has stolen um, spiritual insights from me, even stolen like small circumstances or whatever, claimed it for himself. So even like from my um, story of uh, basically how I was in a private Baptist school and they had like this thick board. It was about this thick, okay, um, uh, like an oak or whatever. And, and I'm talking about a solid wood, okay, very, very long. And it said the Board of Education on it. So, um, and then they had another one. And they would bring this to the pulpit a lot to sit there and how they discipline people. Now, I was never, it was never used on me, okay, Um I was flipped in my desk, though, by a teacher or whatever uh, when I had to stay inside and write Bible verses uh, over and over and over and over and over again, which he always found a reason to punish me and have me sit there, um, you know, uh, in a desk or whatever while I sit there and write Bible over and over. I, it was not bad. I did not, like, do anything wrong, anything, okay? Um, but, so... The thing is that the preacher would always, and it was an abusive cult, the, the cult that I was basically abandoned to, um, were pedophiles. Um, so there was a number of them in their church. 
And I cannot say that that was the senior pastor. I cannot even indicate um, if he even knew about it. Okay? So, um, I can't. So, the thing is, is, um, the thing is, is he would bring out this paddle, um, all the time or whatever, talking about disciplining people. I've only known it to be used, like, one time when they walk somebody, like, through or whatever, um, to the office or something. Um, everybody I knew was, you know, was not, like, you know, did something, like, really bad or whatever the case may be that I knew of. So, um, that required, so I seen it one time and I was just like, you know, um, but the thing is, they would, um, sit there and bring out a pad on, like, this is the, this is our board of education, as they, uh, taught, um, often, almost every day, um, about separation of church, not every day, but, um, every week or whatever, well, I was in there almost every day, but separation of church and state, or whatever, and apparently there was a conflict with people, um, coming to the school or whatever, because I remember it, um, even media came there or whatever, and, you know, I saw a glimpse of it, I didn't understand what or who they were, I was, I didn't even watch TV, <laughs> you know, so, but they were trying to question it, and then he would rev up from his, you know, pulpit, um, about separation of church and state, and I had never knew what they were talking about, but, and then he would bring out, this is our board of education, in relation to separation of church and state or whatever. So, um, they were, it, I remember them mentioning something about health. I had no idea what they were talking about when they sat there and, you know, made statements about, oh, they want us to have health classes or something like that. And so I, I had no idea what they were talking about. And I'm like, what's wrong with health? You know, did my thoughts, you know, and I, it didn't ever make any sense to me, anything that they were saying. Cause I guess they left a lot of things probably in relation to most likely in relation to sex education and all this other stuff or whatever. So the thing is, yeah, I remember it. And then they're like, and then this is the Holy board of education. And they actually had a board with holes in it. And he said, and this hurts much worse. So yeah, that's what they did. So this guy tried to sit there and steal that. And I'm sitting there saying they didn't, I knew, uh, knowing history or whatever, somewhere in time or whatever, like I heard it and read about it, you know, that they had, they were allowed to like paddle people or whatever, probably back in his days. I don't know how old he is. He's got to be between like maybe, maybe 20 years, thir maybe 12 to 20 years older than me. I don't know how, you know, the difference or whatever. Could be even more. I don't know. I don't really know how old he is. So, um, this guy. So, um, he basically comes up and relates it to, like, my, my teachings that I put online about the Holy Board of Education uh, written on a paddle and then claims it for himself. And the thing is, okay, there could be coincidences that there are similarities that that could have happened. He said he got paddled. I, I don't, you know, I, I mean, I don't know. Um, I don't know if it's true, but he copies some things after I say it and claims it for himself. Not only the knowledge I teach against him, but circumstances. And my spouse does the same thing. He will sit there and echo me and copy me and pretend he's telling me about what I told him about myself. This is a mental disturbance. It's really, really disturbing. Oh my gosh, I'm taking up so much time. Oh, now I do part two because I, I'm not going to be able to put this. All right, I have to do a part two. I'm not going to put this, be able to put this recording on here because um, it's, uh, it's almost like 29 minutes. Um, so I have to do it. Uh, yeah, I got to do a part two.